guys today on rising pharmacies advanced dairy farming in israel uh, on a dairy farm one of the main responsibilities on a dairy farm is milking milking the cows the milking time is where we get our money from so during milking periods you don't joke at all it is the engine room of the whole farm and that's one of the major responsibilities we had to execute over here during uh, still over here aside that we early in the morning we, we have to separate the cows you know cows which are needed for insemination we have to bring them for insemination cows which the veterinary officer had to check to see whether they're in the right condition whether they are not feeling well and then administer medications and drugs you know we all we bring that cow those cows up there and then there, there is routine checks we also undertake a vaccination in the course of the year when it is needed we undertake a mass, mass vac vaccination on all the cows the calves and uh, the hyphers and that's also another responsibility we execute over here and then uh, as a matter of fact another responsibility major responsibility we also uh, execute over here is uh, preparing of silage it's it's very very important because uh, you know silage is the main one of the main ingredients in the feed of uh, the cows so we prepare silage twice in a year we prepare silage twice in a year during the winter and during the summer during the summer we prepare corn silage and then during the winter we prepare wheat silage it's a very massive and uh, energy consuming exercise but it's, it's it's very exciting you know and then uh, another responsibility or another thing we do is showers very very essential you know, in the summer the weather is hot very hot you know and then these cows are very uh, respond they, they respond quickly to harsh weather conditions so in the summer we take them for showers it's very very essential so that uh, we call it cooling because when you take them for showers they they cool their bodies and then when they go back to their barns they get to eat uh, when you don't do that meaning that when when the temperatures rise to a certain extent they don't eat and uh, it's going to affect the uh, milk yield so that's also one of the uh, responsibilities uh, we perform also on the farm another responsibility is also uh, the pushing of the feed of the cows the calves you know on the farm since they are kept in bands it is very essential that from time to time after the feed is given by uh, the uh, feed mixture for in the course of the day we get a machine to push the feed closer to the cows so that uh, they can have easy access to it and then uh, uh, it's also going to affect mil milk yield as well so basically in in one of the main responsibilities we also execute over here is maintenance of equipment you know since we are dealing with you know uh, we are in large scale dairy farming and modern dairy farming uh, from time to time maintenance culture is very very essential we change the tubes in the we use for milking and in the tubes in the milking machine which is used in milking we change it from time to time we, we grease the tractors and then the machines we use you know we clean the whole area uh, after milking and on Fridays we clean the whole office and then the whole milking area we clean the walls as well also just to make sure that uh, the sanitation standard on the farm is very high and to avoid any ad outbreak of uh, diseases in the course of the day also when 
during milking we cultivate the bands of the cows you know, to ensure that uh, they have dry beddings to avoid uh, infection and then uh, mastitis and uh, other disease outbreaks so that's just to mention a few of the responsibilities we uh, execute on the farm over here So in advanced dairy farming, uh, because we deal with a large or uh, a large number of uh, cows, it's very essential that uh, we take into consideration machinery. One might uh, want to find out what is the use of this huge uh, tractor on a dairy farm. To maintain hygiene and then to reduce uh, the number of infections on the farm, we cultivate the bands of the uh, cows twice in a day and that's what the cultivator does uh, it's more or less like it turns the soil as you move the tractor it turns the soil around and then it makes it dry it, it provides the cow with a dry bed and do this because it's an intensive system uh, in the extensive system of farming we might not necessarily need to uh, cultivate the bands of cow because they usually uh, spend majority of their time outside on the field grazing on uh, green forages and then uh, other grasses but with the intensive system since we use uh, we feed them internally 24 7 they don't go out there is very, it's very essential that uh, we cultivate the balance of the cows so that uh, they can be at peace um, up there we find a yellow band attached to the pole up there it's not just for aesthetic purposes or not just for decoration, it has its use. On the farm here, we face challenges of uh, insects which serve as uh, vectors or hosts of uh, other diseases. The main purpose of this uh, yellow band is to prevent and to get rid of these insects which which serve as host in transmitting uh, diseases to these dairy cows. This is the kind of feed we give to cows which are producing milk. The major ingredients in this feed is size and then some amount of hay and then some other micro uh, nutrients and some other micro ingredients add because the silage helps the cow in uh, producing more milk. Even at the smell of the silage, the cow feels like eating. And then, uh, because of the fermentation process it has gone through, it helps the cow in producing more milk uh, for the farm. So, the feed given to the cows which are producing milk is totally different from uh, the feed given to uh, the cows which are pregnant and then cows which uh, the hyphers and then other uh, cows in different stages of production. Mm -hmm. 